Prime Minister Imran Khan wrote for British newspaper The Telegraph from a cell at Adiology where he has been unjustly incarcerated since the last 272 days. writing about the extreme fascism inflicted upon his party members forcing them to leave the party taking away the party's electoral symbol just before the elections the founding chairman of PTI Imran Khan said quote the military establishment under direct guidance of general Asim Munir the chief of army staff has tried every tactic to decimate my party's presence from the political environment of Pakistan end quote Commenting on the sorry state of judicial affairs in the country, Mr. Khan pointed out the hesitancy shown by the Chief Justice of Pakistan in taking swamoto action. Instead of calling for a full bench hearing of the Supreme Court and summoning those accused by the six judges, Qazi Faiz Isa is only keeping his fellow judges waiting endlessly for justice. Imran Khan reminded Pakistan's powerful military establishment of lessons from history, stating that errors from 1971 are being repeated when the public mandate was stolen and the country was divided in two. Mr. Khan reiterated that the only path forward for Pakistan to emerge from this crisis is through democracy and the rule of law. Pakistan Tehreek Insaf's political leadership met with founder chairman Imran Khan inside Adiala jail on Thursday. However, the jail administration reduced the court mandated time while listening in on the conversation. Mr Khan inquired where the commissioner Rawalpindi was since he was made to disappear after he revealed rigging in the February 8 elections. Imran Khan expressed concerns over report of military or air bases being given to the US. He asked that the foreign office should clarify the government's position as the Pakistani people don't want to be part of any wars. Reacting to Chief Justice Isa's statement that there is no pressure on the judiciary, Imran Khan asked, quote, "Does the Chief Justice not see the pressure where females are illegally incarcerated? Does he not see the rigging against PTI? He must clarify his position." end quote. Imran Khan condemned the treatment of the farmers by the illicit government of Pakistan. He has declared that PTI stands with the farmers. Government prosecutors have been arguing the Saifer case for weeks now without any substance. Imran Khan and Shah Mahmood Qureshi's lawyer Barrister Salman Sadr spoke to the media after the proceedings of the case on Thursday saying that the truth is that there is no offense nor negligence in this case. The case was adjourned until Monday. A three-member bench of the Supreme Court will hear the case about PTI not being given reserved seat in the assembly on May 8. The bench will consist of Justice Mansoor Ali Shah, Justice Muhammad Ali Mazhar, and Justice Athar Minalla. The Islamabad High Court has directed the Registrar Office to resolve the objections on the applications against the new call-up notice for Bushra Bibi within seven days. Imran Khan's lawyers have also, meanwhile, filed objections to his call-up notice by the National Accountability Bureau. Justice Mia Gul Hasan Aurangzeb made exceptionally important remarks on the contradictions in the state's statements on the transfer request of Bushra Bibi to the Adiala jail. A verdict has been reserved. Turkey has confirmed it would halt trade with Israel until it improves the flow of aid into Gaza. Ankara decided to expand last month's restriction on some Turkish exports to Israel due to the worsening humanitarian tragedy in Palestine. The trade ministry said in a statement that Turkey will firmly and decisively implement these new measures until the government of Israel allows an uninterrupted and sufficient flow of humanitarian aid to Gaza.